Action. And I say mad and mean quick and fast, fast and clean. Free this, yeah man, a Jevan, I made this. I'm a representing for Unruly Coley and Dan Sinclair. Mad and mean. I me say she want touch she make she touch the ceiling. Touch she make she think she dreaming. I touch she want like the kekel steaming. So when the morning comes, she should be beaming. Say. She want touch she make she eye. Unruly Coley, big up herself. Dan Sinclair, Jevano. Mad and mean. See? Welcome guys, welcome, Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes and myself, I'm Ruli Cooley here at the Friends For Real Studios at, where is it? Tower Hill. Tower yeah. Hill, yeah. Tower Hill, and I have here with me for an exclusive interview, I'm going to let him introduce himself. You know it's Giovanna, mother I mean, to come so as fast. <laughs> Clean, pretty, Giovanna, yeah, I mean this. There you go guys. Alright, so this is going to be a quick round of um, questions. So. Keep it short and snappy as much as possible. And um, you're going to feel some heat, we're going to put him under pressure. I will fan you, let me know when you need a fan, yeah? All right, just start off first. What age did you get into music and who and what inspired you? Well, I started music at about age 40. Okay. Yeah, and I started music from playing a song called Zebra Force. Nice, nice. Did anyone particular, was there any artist or anybody that inspired you and you thought, wow, I want to be like that? Yeah, one particular, Ground that general. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so describe your music. How would you describe it and how long have you been writing? Do you write your own music as well? Yeah, I write my own music. I, I, did, I, I do all genre of music. I do okay. like a reggae, like a dance, you know, like a music, kind of just versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, what was the first single you ever bought? My first single record mm -hmm. was Tucker Art, and that was Jam Tone. That's sort of Jam, King Jam. Oh, nice, That's nice. Okay, um, what school did you attend, and what were your happiest memories at school? Uh, first, I went to Rosemont, uh, Rosemont College uh -huh. and to St. Catherine High School. All right. Do you have any happy memories in school? Yeah, my happiest memory in school, I went. Was you, know, you a good boy in school? Were yeah, you bad? Good boy in school. Good boy in school. <laughs> but my happiest moment <laughs> when I um, um, Mr. and Mrs. St. Catherine. So yeah. I enter Mr. and Mrs. St. Catherine and I enter singing competition. Come up with Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite album by another artist? Own Tequila, another level. I knew he was going to say that. Yeah. I knew he was going to say <laughs> that. Yeah. All right. Okay, so if there was any artists out there that you could work with, who would you be? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely Bounty. Yeah. Assassin. Assassin. Yeah. Alright. Any reasons why these guys? Yeah, because Bounty Killer, first and foremost, Bounty Killer stand for both of Really good. Yeah. Yes. You know, Bojo, nice. I just love Bojo. Assassin, mm -hmm. versatility. Nice, nice. Okay. What was the last event you played at? Last event was New Year's. Okay, not long yeah, ago. Not long ago. <laughs> yes. Where was that? That was a uh, nursery, <laughs> maximum. Okay. All right. So name me three different types of music that you like. All right. Reggae. Uh huh. Dance. Uh, mm -hmm. Hip hop. Oh. Who's your favorite hip hop artist? Favorite like hip hop artist. That's, uh, Oh yeah, he's not. He's not. He's too much now. No, no, he's not. No. So you're still listening to old school. Yeah, yeah. Love. All right. So professionally, what's your goal? Like for 2019, what do you plan? 2019 and beyond is just more music. I do more, more music and more music. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. So if you wasn't an artist, what would you be doing? Or have you done any other jobs? Have like you worked My in dad. KFC or something? Or <laughs> was a mechanic? Or <laughs> yeah, well, I was in the construction business. Okay. I used to work at the construction site. It was enhanced my music. Yeah. But music wasn't my first priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to become a pilot. Oh, a pilot. You know, due to financial, yes. financial, you know. Yeah, 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 it's not easy. Yeah, yeah it it's wasn't not easy. easy, so I said, music, yeah. I'll be telling you, so why not music? So if you was a pilot, what airline would you fly? Uh, 
<laughs> That's a tough one. Eh? <laughs> anyone? Not Jamaican Airlines. Anyone? Anyone? anyone. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, if you could go back in time, is there something that you would have done differently? No. Because I love Rama, so yeah. I don't see anything that would change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so what about when you perform? Have you ever had a block where you've forgotten your lyrics? No. You haven't? Oh wow, that's good. That's good. That is good. Say if you did, how do you think you would overcome that? What would you do to overcome it? I don't it? think I could overcome that. <laughs> because first and foremost, I always, if I, were, if I had a show, I was worse, 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 but to make sure I get right. Mm. So, even when I'm backstage, I try to start with us. Yeah. So, that's so, I'm always on that. That's good. You hear that. Guys, you need to watch out to see when he has a little block here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll remind you that you said that you've never done it. Yeah. <laughs> never do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, what countries have you played out in other countries or are there countries that you're interested to go and sort of go and perform? Well, basically, I'm looking for the evening. England. Sometimes. 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 Get a line up for Canada, April, mm -hmm. and until you know, further down, like July. So not confirmed. Okay. I'm looking for. Oh, right. All right. So I, I know you're an artist and in reggae, etc. But who's your favourite scientist? Yes, I see. Based on the sea, why? Yes, I see. I don't know, but this is just my soul. Yeah, this is just my soul. Secondly, Stone Love. Stone Love, yeah. alright, okay, alright. Right, so if you were to have a dream, what would it be? Yeah. 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 Like more clean and music and you know more uplift things. So, you, know? so you mean no slack? Yeah, slack yeah, and song. yeah. Slack song can go in about yeah. all you put in. Yes. Yeah, because slack song been around for a long time. Like, you know, shop bags, which one. You know, they used to do slack song, but not like most of these songs these days. Yeah. These ones are very outrageous. Yeah. So, they're clean. Okay, and thick Yeah, just that. Alright, yeah. right, so say you bumped into Buju down the road, yeah? What would you ask him? You can ask him, let's say two questions. What would you ask him? First, say Buju. <laughs> love a <our> colour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what, that's just it. Buju yeah. would I love a colour. I'm really Buju like that. Okay. You wouldn't have a specific question for him. <laughs> Alright. So you said Ashanti was your favourite like hip hop artist, um, and you've mentioned male artists, etc. Um, do you have um, any sort of artists that are, you're working with currently that you're, you know, you're really looking to promote? Maybe they're not up on the platform yet. Are you mentoring people to come up or anything like that? Yeah, I've been working with any artist recently. I have seen many friends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, um, when you're writing, what inspires you to write? What kind of things are you writing about? Is it, you know, where do you do it? Even are you going on the beach and just jamming in the room? You know, what? How do you talk through what you're thinking and you're writing? Music come to me like. Every day from everywhere. Uh, for example, you can, you can hear and just say something to me. Mm -hmm. I say I can't put that into a song. Okay. Just that's, it right. just comes naturally. Okay. Is music, does it run in your family? Do you have like parents or siblings yeah, that yeah, sing yeah, as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my father, my father was a, a, a poet. Okay. Yeah, a poet? Sort of, yeah, a poet. And I have sisters who love music, I have brothers who love music. Yeah, even my little son loves music. Nice. So music in the blood. Very yeah. nice. So who knows, yeah. he might follow in your footsteps yeah, and be a yeah, singer yeah. too, yeah. right? He's just two and he know basically all of my songs. Very nice. So what can your fans out there and people expect from you for 2019? More Jeva, more positive music from Jeva. Basically, that's it. All right. All 
right. And um, do you have a message out there for maybe young people that are trying to come up in the business? You know, any encouragement, any advice? Just keep it positive, please. Yeah. Keep it positive. And make sure songs them are something when someone can relate to, or everybody can relate to. Okay, so um, finally, any message for Don Sinclair and myself? I'm really cool for the work that we're doing. I hope you've subscribed to our channel, guys. You know, I'm letting him know you guys have. Have you subscribed? You need to if you haven't. Yeah, I, haven't, but I will. <laughs> yeah. So, any message for what, what Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes is doing? I'm really cool. <laughs> Keep doing the good work. Don Sinclair, big up yourself, my brother. Give thanks for this trip. More life and prosperity. Your guy every time. Thank you. What's like? All right, guys. So from myself, I'm Ruli Cooley and Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes. Um, thank you so much. Subscribe and keep tuned in to this exclusive interview and much more that's coming up. Bless you. All right. Peace. Cop.